In this video, we're going to be using Heritage Hill Midnight Rod and the Rex Console Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at LEAF. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in folks, welcome in. Today, as mentioned before, we're going to be using Heritage Hill and this is Midnight Ride. This comes to you for $9.99 for three ounces or on our cost chart there, that is a good price of $3.33 per ounce. This is a really, really nice scent. I'll put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Scent strength is right at about medium. And this soap was a collaboration with, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a little JT, which is the traveling shaver. And let me tell you, he did a beautiful job collaborating on this scent. This is very, very nice. The ingredients on this, I'll put on the screen for you right there. Heritage Hill is a very good, easy to use soap. I got a great lather with no problems whatsoever. And we look forward to using Midnight Ride today. We're also using today the Rex Console Razor, which is the first ever stainless steel slant adjustable razor. And we'll start on three and then work our way up from there. And let's get into it without any more babbling today. We'll miss the face and I remind you, products that are available I will link for you below all right we're just gonna start by misting the face and we got a great lather here and this smells fantastic I really like this one a lot and we didn't make a ton of lather because we're just doing two passes but we should have more than enough and it is very good quality I've never had any quality issues whatsoever with the Heritage Hill soap and I'm very pleased to say that the, the folks at Heritage Hill are great folks They've been checking in on me, you know, from time to time since I've been down here, since they found out, you know, my mother had leukemia and they've, they've been with me for the whole ride. So thank you very much, Heritage Chill. I really appreciate that. And I can say, folks, not all artisans are that way. With some of them, quite frankly, if you stop using their product or, or indirectly promoting it, you won't hear from them, believe me. But Heritage Chill. And many others that I've mentioned on this channel are not that way, but there are some, trust me folks, there are, there are, you know, stop using their products and see what happens. But Heritage Hill, not that way. Very nice people texting me, offering to, you know, uh, send things, meals, uh, and, and several people have done that. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's been a rough time, but we're plugging away and making progress and, uh, we just have to remain hopeful and we are. So thank you so much for watching too. I appreciate you all sticking with me. That's That's been very important to me and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. So let's get into the shave here today with the console, which is a beautiful, beautiful razor. Really the only downside of this razor is quite pricey, but it is a magnificent shaver. And if you found the ambassador to be a little too much for you, a little on the rough side perhaps, you may very well like this razor because this one is very smooth and it's good on all settings, which I like. It is a very smooth shaver and riding in it today is our Gillette Nasset, which is our standard blade here on the channel. Um, I have bought a ton of Nasset blades and I really enjoy them. They are just my favorite all around blade. Good cost, good sharpness, good smoothness. And that's what I like, a, a really good comp combination of sharpness and smooth. If it's sharp but rough, I'm not that interested. If it's not sharp, I'm not that interested. Uh, Nasset really hits the spot for me. So I like it a lot. All right, very nice. And so slant razors, the concept, it cuts like a guillotine or guillotine, however you want to say that, uh, which was created, I guess, by the French. I don't know if they were the first to do it, but they popularized the guillotine, of course. And we're gonna try something a little bit different today. As awkward as this is, we're gonna to try to roll with our left hand on the left side and maybe de develop a little bit of dexterity over here. The wrist is improving, but I figure today, let's, let's try to roll with the left and see what happens. If I straight razor shave with my left hand, there's no reason that I can't 
DE shave with my left hand as well, so we're going to try to make a concerted effort to develop more dexterity and use this left hand more. And it feels okay. It's a little awkward, but it's okay. It's okay. And again, I hope everybody is doing excellent. The weather has been weird uh, here since spring has taken hold. I know back home the other day it was 14 degrees Fahrenheit, which is so freezing if you're someone who's in Celsius is uh, freezing in Fahrenheit is 32 degrees. It was 14 and it snowed all day <laughs> last weekend. And we're like, it's spring. Come on, man. You know, it's spring. We're ready for spring to spring and get those flowers going and those buds going and things to come back to life. That's what I like. All right, first pass. Very, very nice. And we're gonna turn it up to, we'll turn it up to six for our second and final pass. I'm only doing uh, two passes now just because of the wrist, because it's a little bit difficult, but uh, we're still enjoying it and we're still getting pretty good shaves to be honest. They're not quite as good if I were to do three passes, but Definitely, I'm getting a darn fine shave at the very least, and that's what I'm shooting for. And I'm telling you, this Heritage Hill, if you haven't tried it, they have some great scents. They're very reasonably priced, and I know they're working on splashes because they sent me a, uh, a sample of the splash, which is very good. And I think I like about all of Heritage Hill scents. Um, they've had all good scents for me. And so again, good folks at Heritage Hill and we're happy to use it and don't forget JT collaborated on this one with them which is cool and so very nice scent JT I like this one a lot it is really really nice all right let's go ahead and get this lathered up the rest of the way here and that is beautiful beautiful very slick no problems whatsoever Keep in mind, folks, like I always say, if you're using a mainstream sort of soap that you see people using and many people enjoy, if you're finding it not slick, then work on your lathering. It's more likely to be you than it is the soap, quite frankly. Just work on it. It's not rocket science. I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. Because <laughs> I'm not particularly skilled at most things, to be honest. But I find a way. I, I am... Um, I am a high effort person, you know, I'm determined, and so I don't always have it in skill or natural, you know, I don't have these natural gifts necessarily, but I am high motor and high engine, and I will keep plugging until I get it. You know, that's, that's the way to go, because if you watch my straight razor series and you go back and watch those first 15, 20 shaves, you'll see what I mean. Like, I was like, oh, I cut myself, you know. <laughs> And then now, of course, it's, it's a much, much better. And so you just have to be determined, stick with it, keep trying, and just keep rolling. Oh man, that's very nice. The console here, even on six, is quite a smooth shaver, and I very much like that. What I desire is really something that gives me some good efficiency that I can feel cutting while being very nice and smooth. And this razor definitely hits the mark there. It's still very smooth and it still has enough efficiency, I think, in my opinion. Um, it is very nice indeed in that regard. Now this might be a little more awkward with my left hand on this side. Coming from underneath, that's not too bad. We're doing okay. We're doing okay <laughs> with our left. It is different. If you haven't tried this, folks, try it. I know years ago we did a, a challenge using the left hand and it is, or whatever is your non-dominant hand. So if you're left-handed, try to use your right. It's more difficult for sure. But it can be done. It just feels awkward. You don't have that confidence that you might have with your primary hand. And so you just have to go easy and make your strokes. And I tell you what, the razor is super smooth. That's one thing I really like about this razor. It is definitely smooth, and it definitely is uh, pretty efficient, I would say. I would call it about, I think before I called it medium at the top end, medium high. It's not, I wouldn't call it high aggression, uh, but I think on six I would call it medium high, like the far end of medium, let's say. 
which I like. All right, Let's see if we can get everything knocked down here with our left hand. And I hope I did a pretty good job on this side. You never know until you look <laughs> close, but I think I've done okay today, given I viewed my left hand on my left side. I will say all the gear today, absolutely phenomenal. I have really enjoyed it. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used a PAA Allen. After using the Allen, there was no staining, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the Allen, we did another rinse and then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with Heritage Hill Midnight Red. The scent on this is excellent. The quality on this is excellent. The price is very good. I really enjoyed it. It's really nice indeed. And I picked this up at the Razor Company, by the way. The Rex console, we had an excellent shave with it today as well. Really expensive, but a very, very good shaver, and I enjoyed it a lot today. We used our West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we're gonna finish it out today off cam because it's too difficult for me to do with one hand with the wet the face, the quiet man, complete with the floaties. And I hope wherever you are today, you all have a great shave and a great day. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.